What we'd like to talk about today is a cervical cage implantation, a new type of technology to replace the cervical disc that's been herniated or damaged. And cervical disc surgery these days employs a new type of technique that's been around for a number of years in the lumbar spine. And this particular technique, the disc is removed as a normal surgical procedure uh, that's been done for over 50 years in our country. And it's replaced with a small titanium screw that actually shaves the patient's own bone into the center of the screw as it's placed to affect a uh, disc fusion, if you will. So it's type, a type of disc substitute that actually employs the patient's bone in the local area as a graft. If we might look at a couple of x-rays, we can demonstrate on a two-level fusion procedure what this looks like. I think as you see here in this rather magnified x-ray, this patient has had the placement of a fusion cage or a small a hollow screw into a disc space between C4, C5, and C5, C6 in which the bone is shaved into the inside of the screw and becomes the focus for a fusion procedure uh, that will take place over time. However, because of the stable nature of these implants, this leads the patient to uh, uh, allow them, to, I should say, to lead a normal life and be more active uh, almost immediately after surgery. Occasionally, uh, when there's need for further stability in a neck that has been damaged or injured and by the judgment of the surgeon, uh, a plate may be placed with screws into the bone above and below where the cage implantation took place. And this would leave a very stable construct uh, in the neck to protect the patient against further injury or wear and tear at those levels. The overall recovery um, is that the patient uh, in general after a short procedure anywhere from 20 or 30 minutes to an hour is allowed to go home usually the following morning. Uh, at that point I give the patient some common sense restrictions but uh, they will certainly have no other than common sense restrictions in their day-to-day -day activity such as driving an automobile uh, performing normal uh, tasks such as dressing and bathing and those sorts of things in the first week after surgery. Uh, by the end of the first week the skin staples are removed and we allow the patient to progress to a more active uh, lifestyle. It goes without saying that even in the best of circumstances we certainly want them to be careful and not to re-injure their neck at this critical healing time. However, these constructs have been shown to be very, very stable and very protective of the patient should they uh, unfortunately be involved in a fall or another accident or what have you. Uh, in our opinion, uh, it'll take four to six weeks minimum uh, for the fusion process to actually begin to take place and it may be up to three to six months to show final fusion uh, on x-ray as a demonstration of, of the patient's uh, uh, completion of the fusion process. However, in that interim, because of the titanium implant and the stability of the implant, it's like having an internal uh, collar, if you will, or an internal cast on the neck and allows for tremendous stability and uh, true, as well as uh, certainly normal ranges of motion uh, once the muscle spasm from the injury and the surgery have subsided. The risk of this type of procedure are exactly the same as they are for any cervical disc procedure, whether it's a discectomy or, or fusion with plating using the patient's bone, uh, cadaver bone, or types of artificial bone which we've used in the past. Uh, the risks are certainly uh, those as delineated in our brochure which include not only the risk of anesthesia but the risk of surgery in general which is infection, blood loss, or the failure of the instrumentation to the particular types of risk involving the cervical spine which may cause nerve root injury up to and including uh, and very rarely spinal cord injury with loss of numb, uh, feeling uh, with numbness and loss of uh, motor power and strength below the level of the surgery itself. Fortunately, this is a rare occurrence and uh, certainly a lot more uncommon than airplane crashes, thank God. So in this type of procedure, uh, as we've delineated, the disc is removed, it's replaced uh, with a titanium implant, which is FDA approved and has uh, been shown over a number of years and thousands of patients to be very successful in affecting uh, cervical stability and completing a cervical fusion and solving the problem.